Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the first generation Google Nexus 7 tablet from 2012 on the right hand side and the second generation model from 2013 along the left hand side. Both devices are Wi-Fi models only and we're going to be checking out how they compare and differ in playing games and specifically Asphalt Airborne 8. Beginning with some specs, first of all, both devices have a 7 inch LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen underneath Corner's Gorilla Glass. The first generation device displays at a resolution of 1280 by 800 which brings up a pixel density of 216 pixels per inch against a second gen 1920 by 1200 screen resolution at 323 pixels per inch. The CPU within the first gen tablet is Nvidia's Tegra 3 1.2 GHz quad core CPU with a GeForce GPU. Compared to the second gen device which incorporates a Qualcomm quad core Snapdragon S4 Pro at 1.5 GHz with the Adreno 320 GPU. 1 GB is the amount of RAM memory included on the first gen device comparing to the second gen's 2 GB of random access memory. And finally both devices are 16 GB Wi-Fi only models both running stock Android Jelly Bean 4. Hopefully while looking at both these devices side by side you can see that the Adreno 320 on the second gen Nexus 7 tablet is providing more vibrant colours than its predecessor especially when you look at the green of the Audi R8 that we're racing here and also the yellow bar running across the middle top of the screen there you can see it's slightly more vibrant on the Google Nexus 7 second generation tablet than it is on the first gen but the first gen GeForce GPU tends to provide more crisper surroundings if you look around the sides of the Audi R8 it seems to be more crisper it seems to be more blurry on the Adreno 320 of the second gen tablet. After playing games for a number of hours on both these devices what I will say is that the first generation Google Nexus 7 tablet does tend to drop frames quite a lot the longer that you go on playing those games however the second generation Nexus 7 tablet doesn't tend to do that it tends to just keep on going and going and going the longer that you play those games it doesn't seem to drop any frames whatsoever benefiting from the two gigabytes of random access memory. As we're watching this first generation footage you can see what I'm talking about with the graphics being more crispy and more sharper than the second gen tablet but that may be down to just less effects being processed on the screen because when we go side by side with the second gen model you can see there's definitely more effects in motion effects and lighting being displayed on the screen from its uh, Adreno 320 GPU and you can see as you go past the, the lights and the lamps on the streets they go blurry where they don't on the first generation model but certainly side by side both of them looking very very good indeed certainly the second gen model when going full screen does look absolutely awesome with the blurred motion effects going on as you go past light it just seems a little bit more natural in terms of an arcade racer i'll also mention the sound although the first generation model does have great sounding speakers they're not stereo speakers and that's where the second generation model comes into a world of its own encompassing you and giving the gaming a little bit of extra edge just to immerse you more so into the gaming world and this has been a look at gaming in particular asphalt 8 airborne on the first generation google nexus 7 2012 model and the second gen 2013 model just to give you an idea how both devices compare against each other when they're side by side in terms of specs and what you see on the screen as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a like what you saw and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time